Hey guys. So for today's video, I'm going to kind of be answering a question that comes up quite frequently instead of doing a project. Now in several videos I've shown, or probably every video I've shown for the most part where I show an on-screen uh, process and a project or how to do something like welding text, I usually say to use your arrow keys to move the shape because it moves it in smaller increments, you can get better control. One of the questions that comes up quite frequently as a result of that is how do I make it move just a little bit? Because some people's Silhouette Studio software is pre-programmed or pre-checked, I guess you could say, to jump or snap to grid. And that's actually what it's called when it moves in bigger increments. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, if I select this shape on my mat and I use my arrow keys, which you can't see because I'm pressing the keyboard, but you can see the shape is moving slightly. It's because it's only nudging from side to side. If you have it set up to snap to grid, you're going to get big jumps. And that snap to grid option, if you go up to the top right hand corner, you'll have a menu that says grid settings and you have some options here. Now mine is set up to show the guides, which are the crosshairs, and to show the snap guides, but the snap guides, the snap is not turned on. Now if I check this option that says snap to grid, you'll see my shape jumps now when I press an arrow key to the left or to the right. Now if you want to know what the amount of jump is, if you click on show the grid, you'll see Right here, there's the edge of the circle, and if I press it, it's going to jump approximately a quarter of an inch from what I can tell. And you can see here it says divisions four, so yes, it is a quarter of an inch every time I push it. So if you're having problems with your shape jumping as opposed to just slightly nudging over, what you need to do is go to this grid setting and turn off the snap to grid because more than likely that's what's turned on and that's why your shape is jumping instead of just nudging. So I hope this video helps some of you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.